In this video, we're going to have a look at similar shapes. Two figures are similar if they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. The one can be an enlargement or reduction of the other. To have the same shape, the corresponding angles need to be equal and the corresponding sides need to be in the same proportion. This means they have to be enlarged or reduced by the same factor. Remember that congruency also had the requirement that the corresponding angles should be equal, but for congruency the corresponding sides had to also be equal. For congruency we use three equal lines or three horizontal lines, and for similarity we will use the symbol of three vertical lines. Example 1. Determine which of the following shapes are similar. In our sketch, we are given three shapes, and all the angles of all the shapes are 90 degrees. So we can say that the requirement of corresponding angles being equal is satisfied for all of them. Next, we need to determine for which shapes the corresponding sides are in the same proportion. The first two figures are squares with all the sides equal in length. The third shape is, however, a rectangle with only the opposite sides being equal in length. I'm going to start off with our two squares, and I'm going to look at side PQ and side AD. Remember that a ratio can be written in fraction form. So QP over AD will be the length 3 over 2, and this can be simplified to a ratio of 1,5. So QP is 1.5 times the length of AD. If we next have a look at QN over AB, you will see that this is also a ratio of 3 over 2, or 1.5, and, and the same goes for side NO and BC, and side PO and DC. We can now make the conclusion that shape QNOP is similar to ABCD because we've just seen that all the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in the same proportion. Now I'm going to move on to comparing the sides of figure ABCD and EFGH. I'm going to start with side EH and compare it to side AD. In this case, EH over AD will be the ratio of 4 over 2, and simplified that is 2, or double the size. If I now have a look at side EF over side AB, you will see that this ratio is one and a half. So in this case, the corresponding sides are not in the same proportion, so we can make the conclusion that square ABCD is not similar to rectangle EFGH. So here we saw that the two similar shapes were both squares, but the rectangle is not similar to either of the two squares. Example 2. Determine whether kite IJKL and kite STUV are similar. I'm going to start off checking whether the corresponding angles are equal. Angle J is equal to angle T, and angle L is also equal to angle V. I is equal to S, and K is the same size as U. This means that all the corresponding angles are equal. Next up, I'm going to compare the side lengths. IL over SV is a ratio of 10 over 30, which is a third. Similarly, IJ over ST can also be simplified to a third. For the sides at the bottom, JK over TU is also a third. And when simplified, LK over VU also gives us a third. 
So here, all the corresponding sides are also in the same proportion. So we can say that IJKL is similar to STUV. In this picture, we have congruent triangles because all the corresponding angles are definitely equal and the corresponding sides are the same length. It is important to realize that when sides are equal, the ratio, for example, will be 5 over 5 and will always simplify it B1, which means they will then also be in the same proportion. This means that all congruent shapes are also similar because they are exactly the same, but all similar shapes are not necessarily congruent.